Hey, what's up guys? Ryan here from Tweak My Device. Got the awesome Droid Bionic. Been loving this phone. Um, it's really nice hardware wise, but it does need some software improvements. I've had my 3G and 4G disconnect several times. Have to toggle airplane mode to uh, get those back on and uh, just a, a few little minor glitches. But I'm happy to see that uh, we're about to have CM7. This is going to date this video, but uh, it's <laughs> September 17th, 2011. So anyway, we're about to have CM7 on here, and it's going to really improve some things. But today I want to show you how to flash the FXZ file. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is install some drivers, and I'll link at the bottom of the video for the drivers. Uh, install the drivers for your Windows system 32-bit or 64-bit, and also install RSD Lite 5.5. Now, once you've done that, minimize our background there, you're going to want to use, all right, with your phone powered on, okay, you're going to want to use a USB cable from the back of your computer. So you want one that's connected to the motherboard. All right, and you'll connect for charge only. Okay, and now you're going to want to power down your phone. So just power off the Bionic. And once it's down, we're going to hold down the volume down and the power button. Okay, and once you release, now you should have USB connected. OK to program. All right, all your drivers should be installed. We're ready to go. So now we're going to put the phone down. And you see here at the bottom of the screen we have our Moto ADB interface. Driver installed successfully. And I'm running Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, your your results may vary on a different system but Windows 7 Ultimate seems to do pretty good with just about everything in my experience. RSD Lite, we're going to open that up. Alright, good deal, we're connected. Now we're going to click right here and this will let us search for the file. Mine is saved on the desktop in my Droid Bionic folder right here in the FXZ and I'm going to do the minimal alright now you're going to get a message asking you if you want to uncompress we just want to click uncompress only okay uncompress only go ahead and click that now guys be advised this will completely wipe out your device um, it should not wipe out your storage card but if you're going to leave your storage card in for this, it's a good idea to go ahead and back it up. Um, I try to make a point to do double and triple backups on everything anyway, just because I hate losing data. So make your backups and realize that this is going to wipe it out. Now you're going to see this screen, and you're ready to start going. All right, click on Start. Try not to run any more processes in the background. Just keep this window on the forefront. Uh, don't let your screen time out. Don't let your screensaver come on. This may take a little while. It may take, you know, several minutes to five minutes to ten minutes, depending on your system, uh, to flash this file to your phone. Just make sure your USB cable also does not come disconnected. If you have any cute little kitty cats that, uh, you're afraid might get murdered if they chew your cable in half and your phone becomes bricked. You might just want to lock them out of the room uh, to avoid any uh, PETA complications. Cool, here we go. We're at the reboot. And once we get ice cream on this bad boy, we'll really be able to take, uh, take full use of these dual cores. This dual core processor. 
that's going to be that's going to be really sweet. I can't wait for some more augmented reality apps for this thing. Take use of that nice nice 1080p recording. All right, so you should be booting back up now and you should be back to a complete stock software state. Ah, there we go. When you get a to get that little haptic vibration, uh, you know that good things are about to happen and <laughs> you don't have a, a device in a boot loop. So we still have reboot. So even though, you know, I know it's about to reboot, I'm not going to unplug it. Just yet. I'm waiting to get that cleared message up there on RSD Lite. Let's go ahead and start this guy up. Although, if any of you guys are familiar with the, uh, the SBF or the Droid X, if you came from that phone like I did, um, a lot of times I wouldn't have RSD Lite go through the entire process. It would continue to say reboot, even though the phone was up and running like it is here. So at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and unplug it because I know that it's up and running and it's good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. And you're going to get this error message that uh, asteroids and demons and aliens are about to fall from the sky. Just go ahead and hit yes. You want to close it because your device is up and running and you're good to go. All right, congratulations, guys. And uh, you're good to go with a fresh start. Again, I'll include links at the bottom of the video. Thanks to Berserker here on Droid Forums for providing these links. Take care, guys, and enjoy tweaking.